The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. The Gospel is quite short, so we will have a longer homily this time. First of all, I'd like you to look around and greet mothers here. Happy Mother's Day. They are also our shepherds. Just before the Mass, I saw a family coming over with one sheep, with one lamb, with one little lamb. The Lord tells us in today's Gospel, that we are the sheep and we hear his voice. Sometimes we would ask, how do we hear his voice? How do the sheep hear the voice of the shepherd? We could answer that by saying that we, the sheep, actually listen to the voice of other sheep. God when he wants to speak to us, when he wants to talk to us, uses people. And we, he uses these people, usually close to us, to be able to say things to us. And then we hear the voice of the shepherd. I have some good news for you also today. Some five Indonesian brothers they were with us a few months ago. They lived with us when they entered the seminary. They left for the Philippines by mid-March of this year. And two weeks from now, they will be vested with a Dominican habit. Five of them coming from different dioceses of Indonesia who want to join to become Dominicans. That is good news. Five sheep have listened to the voice of the shepherd. They responded, and now they are there. They will live in the next 14 months in the process called novitiate, wearing the Dominican habit, praying every day, for us included, at the shrine of Our Lady of Manawag. Uh, she is our mother, and they will live with her until they are ready to profess the vows as religious. They will live with seven other brothers from the Philippines and two brothers from Sri Lanka and one brother from Myanmar. So they will all in all be 15. That's a big number. One batch of sheep responding to the shepherd. And that is because of your prayers. That is because of your presence. That is because they see you, they imitate you, they like to be like, the, like their parents are or like their friends and they would like to give their lives for the community to serve the church. So as we have heard in the introduction this morning on this Good Shepherd Sunday, let us pray that more sheep will follow and hear the voice of our shepherd. Yesterday afternoon, one of my students in philosophy graduating this June was communicating to me. I thought he was home because he will vote. The Philippine elections will be tomorrow. No, he went home because his grandfather died and he communicated because he observed the people praying. And the people who were praying were singing, chanting in their own language an ancient prayer which is a hymn 
And since he is a student, he would like to record it. He recorded it actually and sent the voice clip to me. And he sent a translation so that I could understand. And when I read it, it's about the sheep praying for another dead sheep. Praying to the shepherd to take the sheep home where there are greener pastures, where that sheep will live forever. That was a beautiful prayer. And there, I heard the voice. Literally the voice. Some were even coughing a little, clearing their throat. There was a cock crowing in the background. That is a voice. The voice of praying sheep. The voice of the shepherd. The Pope, St. Gregory the Great, had a homily about this Sunday. And let me read to you part of what he tells us. He says, Our Lord's sheep will finally reach their grazing ground where all who follow him in simplicity of heart will feed on the green pastures of eternity. And he went on, he went on to explain that here, the green pastures of eternity mean the joys of heaven. And then he, he encourages us, let us then set out for these pastures where we shall keep joyful festival. May the thought of their happiness urge us on. Let us stir up our hearts, rekindle our faith, and long eagerly for what heaven has in store for us. If we love this way, St. Gregory the Great tells us, if we love thus, we are already on the way. So how do we know? How do we know that we have heard the voice of the shepherd? How do we know that we are on the right path, that will lead us to green pastures, if we love the things of heaven? If we value more those things that are eternal than the passing things of the world, if we begin to feel that in our hearts, in our lives, then we are sure, St. Gregory the Great tells us, we are on our way. Of course, we meet difficulties in our journey. Sometimes there are even troubles and problems that beset us that we feel we are discouraged or that we feel we won't reach those green pastures anymore. Maybe we will die in this desert. Maybe we have lost our way totally. Maybe we will never be found. But what does the Lord tell us? He says that those who hear his voice, those who follow him, will never be lost. No one can take them out of the Father's hand. And that is why in the prayer of the church for today, as we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday, the, the church prays this way. Though we walk in the valley of darkness, no evil should we fear. For we follow the faith, we follow in faith the call of the shepherd whom you sent for our hope and our strength. And so my brothers and sisters, when the going gets tough, when we do not see the green pastures, we should hold on to the voice of the shepherd. We should trust, we should have strong faith, knowing that he leads us on our way. The prayer of the church closes by calling on God to attune our minds to the sound of his voice, to ask him to lead our steps in the path that he has shown, so that always in our journey, 
we will know the strength of his outstretched arm and enjoy the light of his presence. As we gather together in the Eucharist, as we receive the Lord, his holy body in holy communion, let us be aware of his voice. As we settle on our pews, receiving the Lord and praying to him, let him speak. Listen to him and take that voice. Take his words. Take the words that you hear back home, back to your friends, and share them so that they too may know the voice of the shepherd, so that they too may be led to greener pastures.